And welcome back to The Weekly. I am your host, Kelsey Jones. This is a production of Jesuit Media. Hey, Jesuit, and welcome back to The Weekly, a production of Jesuit Media. I'm Kelsey Jones, and this is your recap of the week and update for the weekend. Last weekend, a select group of students traveled to Washington, D.C. to meet with Jesuit high schools for the Ignatian Family Teach-In. Here to talk about the teach-in is senior Caitlin Thomas. Hi, Caitlin, and welcome to The Weekly. Can you tell us a little bit about the Ignatian Family Teach-In and what you were doing there? Yeah, so this past weekend from Friday to Monday, 20 other Jesuit students and I, along with some teacher moderators, mm -hmm. went to Washington, D.C. for the Ignatian Family Teaching, which is a social justice summit slash conference. Um, the past couple years, it's been held virtually just because of all the unprecedented right. circumstances, mm -hmm. but this year was held in person, um, which was really exciting. So you there's three breakout sessions throughout the time that you're there where you can learn about different social justice issues. And then on the last day, we, as Jesuit students um, and all the other Jesuit students from all over the nation that the Ignatian Family Teaching brings together, okay. we'll go to our senators and our congressional representatives and present on the social justice issues that we learned about throughout the teaching. Amazing, that sounds like a great experience. So how did you get involved in the teaching or how can other students get involved? Right, so it's a great question. I knew about the teaching before coming to Jesuit, actually. I really looked up to the older kids that I knew who went to Washington, D.C., and even like imagined myself going there someday. So when I found out that the teaching was in person this year, I was so excited about it. Um, and I think students can get involved. The next one will be held next year, obviously, yes. most likely next October or November. So be on the lookout for that if you're a rising junior or senior. Um, and connect with Ms. Casey and uh, Ms. Schmidt about it. But research and learn how to be an advocate before you go on the teaching. There's so many current events and social justice issues that you can immerse yourself in before going to DC. Nice, amazing. Well, thank you for telling us about the teaching and thank you for being on the weekly. Thanks for having me. Back to the news, last Sunday, Jesuit hosted prospective students and families at the annual open house where they offered campus tours, information about clubs and activities, a student panel, and more. Approximately 800 families attended. On Wednesday, Cross Country participated in their district meet. Both the men's and women's team won the Metro League Championship. Volleyball also had their first playoff match against Gresham on Wednesday. They won the match and will advance to the next round of playoffs. On Thursday, Jesuit hosted Laura Love Harden, co-author with Anthony Ray Hinton of The Sun Does Shine. Harden spoke at the assembly and was available to meet with and talk to students during both lunches. Friday, varsity football will play Beaverton in the last regular season game of the season. Both the cheer and football team will celebrate senior night for the 26 senior players and four senior cheerleaders. A couple reminders for students. For those eligible, remember to register for the AP exams by November 15th to avoid a late fee. Check with teachers if you're unsure about your registration. College visits are continuing through this week and into next. Keep checking for in-person visits, and remember, for those who have early decision or early action deadlines, submit by Tuesday, November 1st. The counseling office is open every Tuesday and Thursday after school for drop-in questions about applications. Thank you for watching The Weekly, a production of Jesuit Media. Be sure to check out in-depth reporting, content, and updated sports scores at www.jesuitnews.com or check us out on social media at Jesuit HS News.